If you're going down the shore, whether you're just hanging out the coast or, or uh -huh. heading out uh, in the sand at the beach, we're going to the concert. It's looking good. That's right. Uh, good. It's good, good to hear. There are some storms tomorrow, though. We're going to show mm. you that. Mainly north and west. Let me get to it here. We're tracking those storms for your day tomorrow, not on Sunday. The greatest risk is going to be north of Philadelphia. And then as we look ahead, both days, it's dry and sunny on Sunday, both days into the 90s. We've yet to have a 90 degree temperature this month. We've only had 14 this year. So it's been, we've been low. Last time, by the way, we had only that number. We had 15 days to date back in uh, 2014, and we ended up just a couple days more. So we may be shy of 20 days when it's said and done with temperatures in the 90s. Pretty mild. 69 degrees out the door tomorrow morning. 80, that's at 7. 80 at 10 o'clock in the morning. Notice we're into the upper 80s at 4 o'clock. Also notice on this map here, your hour by hour, I don't have the thunderstorm icon on there at all. It doesn't mean that you, you will absolutely not get rain. What I'm showing you on that map is it's going to be really hit and miss. So here's the uh, future cast. It does want to bring a couple of early morning showers. I don't think that's uh, totally out of the question. But even then, notice how it just clears things out. If you get any shower activity, mainly afternoon, mainly literally after 12, you're going to get potentially some rainfall and then it passes on by. And that's why I didn't include it on there because a majority of our area is going to be dry. You get some rain, it'll pass on by from the west to the east and then it's dry again until we get into tomorrow evening. And that's where I want to focus on our future cast here. I stopped this at 8 o'clock. And this is a computer model. It's just, it's not law by any stretch. Tammy will be in in the morning. She'll have the updated future cast. Of course, Andrew's in tomorrow night uh, if we need to do any kind of tracking there. But it does show this kind of wave rolling through at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock into Upper Montgomery, Upper Bucks County, approaching I-95, Philly, Trenton, you know, down to potentially Wilmington around this time tomorrow night, 10, maybe 11 o'clock, somewhere in there. And then some lingering showers late after midnight, and then it dies down for Sunday. So when we're looking at the overall threats, the greatest impact for you is going to be in the evening hours. Let's just say if we blanket the area between 7 p.m. and midnight or, you know, 7 to 11, somewhere in there. Heavy rain, moderate. I don't see huge flash flooding potential because the storm should be moving along. Damaging winds and hail, pretty equal in terms of the severe weather risk. We'll put it at moderate. It's not high, it's moderate. Tornado threat low, not zero, but that tornado threat is going to be mainly for you folks up in the Lehigh Valley, Upper Bucks, Poconos, and of course, if you're traveling areas north, Scranton, go up into New York, all those, all those areas. So your weekend forecast, back to the 90s, 92 degrees, isolated storms for your day tomorrow. Sunday, 91, mostly sunny, hot, but the humidity level's dropping a little bit with the passing of this cold front, and that's how the weekend kind of shakes out. I wouldn't cancel plans, just know that tomorrow you have that storm threat. If you could do something on either Saturday or Sunday, Sunday looks like a better day, but I, there's still tons of dry time uh, on both days. Uh, Monday night and Tuesday is our next weather maker that we'll keep a close eye on that one could also bring us some strong to severe storms. It's Friday night, you mm -hmm. have a great weekend. Thank you, sir. You do the same.